Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I am here with a gaming PC which won't always switch on. Now it's got an MSI Z97 Gaming 3 motherboard in it and typically what I'm finding is when it won't switch on it's actually after the power has been switched off to the PC and what happens is when you eventually get it to boot it actually goes into the BIOS and you find that when it's in the BIOS it actually has lost all of its settings. So what I think's actually occurred with this PC is that the BIOS battery is flat and we need to put a new BIOS battery. So let's get into it. Let's fix this gaming PC. So the first thing we need to do is to open up the case. So we've got these couple of screws, which is simply undo. And then we slide this side cover off, just like that. Now with the cover off, what we now need to do is to find the BIOS battery and to replace the BIOS battery. Now, it's really difficult to see, but you can see just a glimpse of it there, it's actually sitting underneath the graphics card. You can see just the side of the BIOS battery there. So what we're going to need to do, is we're going to need to take this graphics card out, this external graphics card, and then we can get to the BIOS battery. So we just grab a screwdriver and take the screw that's holding the graphics card in out, and then we can release the graphics card by pressing down on this tab here. And then lift it up. And we'll just place that carefully to one side. And then straight away we can see that the BIOS battery is down here. As I said, that was quite an inconvenient spot for that to be underneath that graphics card. So to remove the BIOS battery, we just need to push that metal tab back. And then straight away, you can see that the BIOS battery actually came up there. And then we just need to, to lift it out. Now it is a little bit hard to read. However, you can see the BIOS battery that has come out is a lithium battery and it's a CR2032. This is what I expected. This is a standard BIOS battery. Now from memory, this should read about three volts. Let's grab the multimeter and see what voltage this is putting out. All right, so let's measure the voltage of this lithium battery that's come out of this PC. So there you go, folks. You can clearly see this is reading 2.18 volts. Whereas this little lithium battery should be up around three volts. So I believe that's clearly the problem with this PC on why it sometimes doesn't boot. So let's go get a new battery and let's pop that in there and let's see how it goes. All right, so we've gone and got a brand new CR2032 battery. And as you can see, it's a three volt battery. So let's pop that out. And with that new BIOS battery in, it's simply a matter of reinstalling the graphics card. Make sure it's lined up correctly and then just firmly push it down until it clicks. And then we put the screws back in. And then we put the cover back on. And we're good to go. All right, so we've got the PC all connected back up. Let's see if it comes on now, first time. There you go. So that is fantastic. This PC was switched off, disconnected from the power. Previously, whenever it was disconnected from the power, it wouldn't switch on on the first click. So it has actually booted into the BIOS menu, but to be honest, I'd expect that because I've just put a brand new battery in. So it's saying that it's set all settings back to the default values. And I'm just gonna hit F2 to continue and we'll see how we go.
Perfect. So as you can see, the computer is now booting. So what I'm going to do is we'll switch it off. We'll switch it off at the power point and then we'll switch it back on and see if the problem is actually truly solved. Okay, so we'll just switch it off at the power point. So we'll just let that sit for a few seconds. And then we'll switch it back on again. Now we'll come across and we'll switch it on. It's come straight to life. And as you can see, it's actually booting now properly without going into the BIOS menu. So there you go, folks. That's how to simply and easily solve the issue with your gaming PC not switching on, specifically the gaming PC with the MSI Z97 motherboard in this case. If you've liked this video, do feel free to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, have a good evening.